Eagle fans, it's Eagle fan Carl. It's going to be my quick prediction video for tomorrow night's uh, big Monday night matchup with the Green Bay Packers. The 1 o'clock game has just ended here on Sunday afternoon, uh, so we know exactly where we stand as it relates to the rest of the division. Of course, Dallas won again, beating the Redskins, which as much as I hated it, that actually helps us. Uh, and the Giants just beat the uh, Browns this afternoon. Uh, so that's where we stand right now as it relates to the NFC East. So we have an opportunity to gain some ground on the Redskins. Uh, the Giants' schedule coming up uh, could uh, present some possibilities for gaining on them in the future. Uh, so this is an important game for us. We really need to win this game to have any shot at making a wild card, which I really think we have a good shot at doing that. But if we don't win the game this week, then a lot of that goes out the window. So let's take a look at the game against the Packers and see exactly uh, how we line up against them. First of all, as far as their offense is concerned, they're probably a little bit below where they normally are, but they're still fairly decent offense. They're 13th in overall yards and they're 10th in points. As it relates to the passing versus running break breakdown, it probably wouldn't, doesn't surprise you to find out that they're better passing than running. They're 10th in the league in passing and they're 20th in rushing. So trying to keep Aaron Rodgers in check is obviously going to be the main thing we're going to have to do. Uh, and getting pressure on Aaron Rodgers is also really important as well. Uh, because they have given up sacks this year. 18th in the league in terms of sacks surrendered. They've given up 24 this year. So that's an opportunity for the Eagles, I think, to really make a statement in this game. Get the pass rush going again, which has been sort of lack uh, of late. And uh, I think if that's a way that we could really uh, stop their offense, it's going to be by getting a good pass rush on Aaron Rodgers and maybe getting some sacks, putting them in some long uh, yardage situations. The really interesting thing about the Packers is the other side of the ball, and that's their defense. They've actually been very good against the run this year. They're 6th in rushing defense, but they're 23rd in passing defense. And that's even probably a little misleading in terms of their passing defense because they are getting sacks as a defense. They're 10th in the league this year in sacks with 24, uh, and that counts against passing yards. So uh, really, they're probably giving up more in the passing game once you factor out uh, and take away those sacks. And that's reflected in the fact that they are 31st in the league in opponent's quarterback rating. Uh, so this is a team you can throw the ball against. And Kirk Cousins certainly showed that last week uh, on Sunday night when he just lit them up. Uh, so there's some opportunity here for us to get the passing game going, which has been uh, obviously sort of um, having some problems lately given our wide receivers. So if there's an opportunity for the wide receivers to sort of step their game up, maybe have a good game and get some positive um, things going as it relates to the passing game, this is the game to do it because uh, their passing defense is suspect. Overall, their defense is 18th in terms of yardage yards surrendered. They're 27th in the league when it comes to points surrendered. So they're giving up uh, a lot of points in terms of, especially if you look at the amount of yards they're giving up. So when they are giving up drives, they're giving up points to go along with it. So this is a, a chance for us to really sort of take advantage of a poor defense. Uh, and if there's a time to do it, now's the time to do it. Also, since they are a little bit better against the run than they are the pass, if there's a week that we're going to have some of our running backs not be able to play like Ryan Matthews, this is the week. Uh, so uh, hopefully we can maybe get a guy like Wendell Smallwood a little bit more in terms of his carries uh, and see what he can do. But ultimately, I think we're going to have to try and win this game through passing the ball. Uh, not getting out of out of control like Andy did and, you know, seeing a, a, a situation like this and throwing the ball 80% of the time. We can't do that. We still have to remain balanced. But I think that there is an opportunity for us to really do stuff through the air against this defense. Another interesting stat in looking at this game, one of the stats that's so important as it relates to the NFL is turnover differential. Uh, the Eagles have been doing very well on the turnover differential this year and the Packers have not. In fact, we're a plus four, which is eighth in the league, and they are a minus six, which is 27th in the league. So there is the opportunity, if we can take advantage of that and get turnovers, uh, that's certainly a way that we could end up winning this game. And when you look at the Packers' record, uh, you would think with some of the talent they've got, especially on offense, that they'd be able to do some stuff. But I think it's been the turnovers that have really hurt them in games. So if there's... if we can win the turnover battle. I really think we can win this game. And matter of fact, I do feel pretty good about this game. One of the other interesting things to think about, we've, we've gone through a rather rough stretch. After we got off to the really good start at 3-0, and 
we played the next seven games and went two and five over that stretch. So we had a rough stretch of seven games, but if you look at the opponents that we've played over the last seven games, what do they all have in common? It's the fact that they are the only seven teams in the NFC that have winning records. Uh, so we've just gone through the toughest part of our schedule. The next two weeks, we're playing opponents that are below 500, uh, and then we've got to finish off the season three of uh, four games at home against division opponents. Uh, so there is the opportunity for us to have a little bit of a run here. Uh, so from that perspective, I don't think this season is lost. Uh, and I think that this is the game that sort of sets it up. We need to win this game, and I think the Eagles know that. Uh, I think they are going to be desperate. We have been playing much better at home than we have on the road. So I really expect the Eagles to come away with a win in this game. For that reason, I'm going to go ahead and predict the Eagles win this game, I think, rather easily. I think they win it somewhere in the neighborhood of 30-17, to 17, so that's going to be my prediction. Uh, go ahead, leave in your comments below what you think the final score is going to be. Do you think the Eagles can do this and turn this season around and maybe make a, a stretch run to get into the playoffs? Uh, or do you think the season's over and we just need to forget about it? Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Of course, I'll check in after the game, let you know what I thought. Until then, fly, Eagles, fly.